Hello and welcome everyone. Can everybody hear me? All right, perfect. We're incredibly excited to have you all here with us today. And we're going to take 20 minutes to discuss how Salesforce delivers self-service support. But before we get started, I do just want to share a quick note from our legal team. Salesforce is a publicly traded company, so any purchasing decisions that you make should be made based on what is available today. And first and foremost, I really just want to take a moment to extend our heartfelt thank you. Thank you for taking time out of your incredibly busy day and all of these amazing demos around us to spend the next 20 minutes with us. It means the world to us that you're here today. So let's just go ahead and get it kicked off with a brief introduction. My name is Amanda Rogers. I'm part of our digital success organization. I lead our incredible digital operations team, and it's an honor and privilege to be here with you today. Steve, would like to hand it over to you. Thank you, Amanda. I'm Steve Roberts, and I have the honor of leading our amazing knowledge management team, which is responsible for governing the content that feeds our help agent on help.salesforce.com. Thank you, Steve. Steve and I are here to talk to you about how we at Salesforce deliver self-service support, and more importantly, what our successes have been, but also the challenges that have come along the way. But before we get started, I wanted to share a brief story with all of you, a little off cuff here. Last week, my son came home from school and he asked me a question. He said, Mom, what was the best part of your day? <laughs> and I was like, well, buddy, you're 10 years old. The best part of my day was I got to spend the day really preparing for this session. And I was a little nervous as I started this preparation. And he goes, you know what, Mom? I bet you could do something that will not only make the people in the audience smile, but it'll also make you smile. So I'm going to hope to bring a little bit of light to your day to share a joke that my son had asked me to present today, because how can you go wrong with a joke? So here we go. Can anybody tell me why ants don't get sick? Anybody? Well, it's because they have little antibodies. <laughs> I've got some smiles, so it tells me that the joke fell, fell pretty well. I'll, I'll let my son know at the end of the day today. All right, so as we begin our journey today, I want to introduce you to the beginning of a new era. This is the era of agentic AI. On the left side of the screen, you see the legacy enterprise. It's really the way in which we've always worked. It's the world of slow, manual processes, and it ultimately caps growth and productivity. On the right, well, on the right, you see the future. It is our future, the agentic enterprise. Today at Salesforce, we are living this world where agentic AI augments human intelligence, ultimately leading to higher productivity and limitless growth. So, as we move into this world at Salesforce, this is transformation. This is how we bring together higher productivity for our employees. We create a more personalized customer journey and decisions well, we can make decisions more intelligently. So here at Salesforce, we're living this transformation today as the world's first agentic enterprise. And we're here today to help you become one too. But before we go any further, I want to explain what it means to be customer zero here at Salesforce. It means that we're at the forefront of all the incredible products and innovation that you see today. We are the first to test. We are the first to utilize these products and features internally to learn and understand what it, how we can bring this product and these products to you. When you get them in there in your hands, you can trust that these products are ready. We are your partners. We use these tools. We can be successful with these tools. We will face the same challenges with these. Our goal is to bring these challenges to the forefront internally before you ever have to experience those. It's all about trust. If you can trust a product, you know that you can rely on that product day to day. And really, being customer experience, it's, it's not just some catchy phrase. It is a strategy to help companies be the best of the best. And we want to share with you today how our customer zero story of testing and utilizing these tools daily are bringing these products to market for you and how you can also be successful as adopting customer zero. 
in reality, customer zero, it's not just that catchy phrase. It's something that you can take these learnings from today and create your own journey. So as we move further in our customer success journey, I want to introduce you to our customer success organization. Customer success is at the forefront of everything that we do. My leadership team, myself included, we all came up in customer facing roles. We know this world. We know that customer success is what fuels our innovation every day. We're 9,000 strong. We span across 32 uh, countries, nine global hubs, and we have a vast array of roles, as you can see on the screen. But here's the key takeaway. These teams, they weren't always unified. They were disconnected. And separate and siloed teams don't bring together the ability to deliver the best experience for our customers. Well, why? Because if you're not connected, you're not speaking to one another. When you're connected, it leads to experience exponentially better outcomes, and you understand your entire customer base. Together, this powerhouse right here serves 200,000 customers and over 176 million touch points annually. That is the scale that we are talking about today. The rich context that all of these individuals on the customer success team brings, it's the foundation for what we're about to show you today. But as you can imagine, bringing together such a large organization, it requires a unified formula. That's incredibly important, and that is a starting point. And in reality, our formula is simple. It's easy, and it's expert. First, easy. It's to be intuitive, to be accessible, and to be always on with zero wait time when we can help it. Second, that's where we demonstrate our expertise. But it's not just the expertise in our products and our features, it's the rich expertise that we have in the customer. That is what fuels everything that we do on a daily basis. We've been working with these customers for over 26 years, and that rich customer context is exactly what uh, is the result of being the world's leading CRM. We want our customers to feel known we want them to know that we care about them and we are creating these experiences to serve everybody across the globe. And this kind of success really, being easy and expert, has to start somewhere. And it starts with enabling the right channels. And this is where Agent Force comes in. Through Agent Force, we've been able to bring this organization together from pre to post sales to connect all of our previously disconnected experiences together. It's helped us break down those barriers and silos that once led to fragmented customer journeys. It's stopped us from stumbling around in the dark, and it's forced us to communicate with one another. It's allowed us to design the best experiences by bringing all of our data into one place. Now I know, I know, probably saying, Amanda, that's easier said than done, right? We'll touch on that here in a little bit. But for this to truly work, it depends on you, our customers, to be at the forefront of everything that we're doing, to adopt this product and give us feedback, to really put this into play. So now that you've seen our goal here, I'd like to hand it over to Steve to bring us on the journey a little longer. Thank you, Amanda. So here's what we started with. We had a highly customized website where Every, change, every little change required a hard code change. And this meant that we could not iterate or make improvements, leaving us to qu quickly have an outdated user interface for our customers. Our customer experienced slower load times and also hard to navigate and find information. And in our case, submission form, it was so complicated, it had too many required fields as well as many pages to click through. In short, we knew we needed to reimagine self-service and we you know, to meet our customers' expectations. So enters Agent Force. We rebuilt help.salesforce.com 
you know, with the Agent Force experience, and we introduced this time last year our help agent. Agent Force represents a completely new way to connect our customers. It's always available for both technical and you know, easy questions 24-7 you know, a day with accurate, reliable responses. It's grounded on our, our trusted data, the data that our teams manage and, and curate. And it can take autonomous action, not just answering questions, but taking action. More on that in a bit. And the results have been great this year. We've seen a 77% resolution rate with Agent Force, as well as 1.8 million uh, conversations to date. And now, we're able to iterate more quickly and fine tune with impact. At the beginning of the year, we introduced the full screen experience. So no more chatbot in the corner. We brought that into the, into the full screen where customers can engage with viewing Agent Force as an AI powered channel. And then we went in and we unified that support experience in March, enabling customers to create and manage their cases from within the conversation. So no more complicated web forms. Together, this, we saw a 22% increase in adoption and a 17% in, uh, reduction in abandonment rate uh, with, you know, with this new engagement model. One window, one experience, you know, engaging. We then went in and we iterated it even further. By May, we were introducing you know, inline citations so that customers would know where the answers were coming from. This enhanced our trust with the customer and drove a 27% lift in adoption. And then finally, in June, we rolled out multi-language support. And today, we support over six languages and more and growing, which is allowing us on English-only content to, to meet customers where they're at in a global, you know, in global environment. And the, each enhancement has de deepened our trust, engagement, and accessibility, fueling yeah, continued global adoption of Agent Force. And at its core of Agent Force is Agent Builder. Agent Builder is the brains behind the AI, automation and personalization. And we kept it simple. We had seven topics and eight actions. And what it can and what this allowed us to do is we can set global instructions, like tell the agent you are a support engineer and you are looking for the best interests of our customers and Salesforce. And we can also control guardrails. For example, don't answer any questions that are not Salesforce product support related. And finally, we can enable autonomous actions. This is where the magic really begins. Take, for example, file a case. It can help guide the customer through the login experience so that they're authenticated properly. It can take all that information that they've been con conversing with the agent on and build that into a case submission, ask additional questions if, if it doesn't have enough to fill out the information our support engineers need, and then hand it over to our incredible support engineering team in a seamless automated way without the customer even having to you know, go through that complicated web form now. Agent Builder provides control, safety, and autonomy, letting agents Agent Force handle complex support tasks efficiently and accurately. And even sometimes automation requires a little bit of a human touch. So Agent Force captures all the details and summarizes the context and hands that over to a case owner. And by the time the case owner and the swarm team arrive into the service console, they've got a full picture of, of, that, of the customer experience and what their concerns are. AI and omni-channel, om omni routing, the omni-channel routing feature ensures that we find the right expert at the right time, and we also, it also spins up a Slack channel for, for multi-team collaboration, uh, for real-time collaboration across all of our teams. AI further accelerates the resolution with suggested work summaries, uh, suggested re replies, and in my favorite, the knowledge creation. Capturing that information of the engagement with the customer that can be shared with the agent for future responses to our customers, keeping our content up to date and fresh in real time. And after a year, we've seen over 82% fewer escalations, 61% faster case resolution time, and 4.7 combined uh, out of five customer satisfaction scores. 
And now that you've seen all the pieces, let's put it together and, and show you how Agent Force works when we bring this all together. Take these two experiences here. The first, a customer wants to talk to a, a customer has a question, and Agent Force summarizes, searches, summarizes, and responds to using thousands of pieces of content that we have available that our Data360 will, will um, harmonize and, and return back a knowledge answer. Now, that's probably what you're used to hearing about. The second, though, is on the other side, a customer wants to just talk to a human. We get a lot of those. We get, you know, I would like to talk to a human. And so we, we, we quickly turn that over, and we have a design principle that if a customer wants or needs to talk to a human, we would make it easy. This isn't about case deflection. It's about answer efficiency and being really efficient with our answers. And if that means getting it to a human, let's get them to a human with the least amount of friction. Because we believe that whatever is going to go to make the customer most successful and get them the answer the quickest is best for, for the customer. And that's what we try to orchestrate with the Data360 model. So to summarize our, our, our approach, we follow these five key principles. The, fir the first, as you heard with, with Amanda's organizational discussion, you know, we create, created our North Star, right? For us, that was the easy and, op the, easy and you know, the formula for world-class service, the easy and expert. And then we unified our success organizations around a faster way to deploy and iterate changes as we respond to customer you know, feedback. Third is design your operations team and incorporate feedback. When you design your, you know, your, your operational team, design it in a way to ensure that you're able to iterate quick and scale that team quickly. You know, we started small, and we took the feedback from our customers to, to really guide our direction of, of how we grew. And finally, set up testing. Implement scalable testing both pre-launch and post-launch to continuously improve. These steps turned our innovations into repeatable, scalable impact. And it, ensuring that our enhancements benefited both our customers and our Salesforce teams. All right, perfect. Well, now that we've covered the vision and the goals and our team and technology, here's your proof point. We are proud to announce that we have demonstrated results in innovation and we've been named the number one agentic help solution. Feel free to scan the QR code if you'd like to read the report yourself. I'll leave it up on the screen here for a minute. All right, perfect. And now, for a heartfelt thank you. I look around this audience and honestly, I'm baffled at how amazing the turnout was today. This is our first session. There's a lot to learn. Had a little bit of fun with some jokes. Hopefully that lightens up your mood in the day for the, day, for, for the rest of Dreamforce, but again, we want to extend our thank you. I hope you have an incredible week. And if you have any questions at the end, please don't hesitate to reach out. And now, coffee's on us. We're giving you two minutes back to your day, which tells you that we are truly part of an operations team because efficiency <laughs> is definitely our key. So please take some time. Feedback is truly a gift to us. I want to know and learn what was helpful and what wasn't. And really, just hear anything that, that you'd like to share with us. So again, thank you all. Have a wonderful week and have a wonderful day. Thank you.